So I think uh, we are going to talk about habits. We are going to talk about breathing. We are going to talk about uh, what I feel yoga is all about. What's the difference between uh, the yoga that we understand and maybe the yoga that we should practice. So uh, that's in the this episode, and uh, I hope you watch it till the end. Namaste, dosto, and welcome to yet another edition of my podcast. Uh, this is a show where we drop episodes about health, well-being, and transformation every alternative Thursdays. We drop clips on Mondays and Thursdays, and shorts now and then. So, if you're into such kind of stuff, uh, consider subscribing. Now, today we're joined by Saurabh Bhotra, who is a yoga instructor, uh, and we talk about all things fitness, well-being, yoga. Um, but at the core of this conversation is the ability of building habits and uh, beginning on your fitness journey bahut sare aise podcasts hain youtube pe uh, ya sare audio platforms pe jahan pe you go into the depth of yoga uh, the history the, the scientific uh, you know connection of yoga lekin is episode par hum wo sari cheeze nahi kar rahe hain we are of course looking into it uh, in bits and pieces lekin largely the focus is on helping people begin their journey of fitness of well being काफी सारे हमारे मित्र हैं जो फिट होना चाहते हैं जो एक ऐसी लाइफस्टाइल जीना चाहते हैं जहां पे हेल्थ पर फोकस है लेकिन वो कर नहीं पाते हैं दे डोंट नो वेयर टू बिगिन एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट सो दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम दैट वी रियली वांट टू सॉल्व ऑन दिस ऑन दिस एपिसोड एंड लार्जली ऑन दिस शो एज वेल एंड आई थिंक सौरभ डज एन इनक्रेडिबल जॉब एट दैट ही टेल्स अस अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ बिल्डिंग हैबिट्स व्हिच इज एट द कोर ऑफ हिज टीचिंग बाय द वे एवरीथिंग अबाउट सौरभ एंड हिज क्लासेस um is in uh, the description of this video so you can go check them out any time while you're watching the video but uh, to stick to the conversation a little bit zyada main reveal nahi karna chahta because it's a really really cool conversation uh bahut sari value hai is conversation mein especially if like i said if you want to begin your fitness journey and how do you go about it uh is something that we we really talk about how do you compound on it how do you you know con- once you've started how do you uh sort of uh make it a part of your life of course yoga is the is the um, sort of foundation of this chat but it, i think it applies for any form of fitness that you want to follow and and uh, you know sort of integrate into your life so without revealing much uh i think it's time for us to uh roll out the episode with saurabh bhotra aur agar aapko ye episode pasand aaya ya or if you like this podcast then make sure you hit hit the right buttons to never miss an episode of the sumed bilgi podcast all right let's go saurabh thank you so much for coming on the podcast i think um uh, so yaar recommendations bahut aate hain hamare paas right there are a lot of people that are good well wishes of the podcast etc but yahan pe recommendation is very very in house it's very proximate you know there is a lot of proximity to the recommendation uh right here across in the other room are fans of you um <laughs> are your students and okay. uh, a- across the other houses as well my masi my nani my mom and dad everybody is a big fan of um of your teaching and uh, first of all i must start by thanking you because you know the timing of your arrival in um in their journey is quite extraordinary i was pestering them for a long time to think about yoga very seriously um because for of of various reasons my mother's health was was not great my father's body was too stiff um and your arrival has been pretty god sent so so thank you so much for all that you do and uh, welcome to the sumed bilgi podcast thank you so much for inviting me i'm glad so uh, i just wanted to say that uh, uh, i think we resonate the same because i started initially this journey because i wanted my mother to practice yoga mm. so uh, uh it was yeah the journey began like this because i took her to the gym and yeah. the reason that she gave me why she doesn't want to go to the gym was because it has loud music i was like this <laughs> is not an acceptable reason that i don't want to go to the gym and then i thought you know i am myself a yoga teacher but kyunki bolta hai wo ghar ki murgi dal barabar i had yeah. to prove that i was i am a good teacher so i started teaching online so whenever i teach online right so my mother does it in the other room so oh, she is wow. also practicing so my mother is my biggest feedback i would say 
every day something wrong happens she is the one who first runs and comes and tells me ki are awaaz theek nahi aa raha hai video ka quality acha nahi hai ya time pe shuru nahi hua ya audio aaj acha nahi aaya ya aaj acha karaya aaj acha nahi karaya so i get a first hand <laughs> feedback of what what's happening in the class and she uh, is yeah. the one age group where we want to cater to the most yeah. so uh, it's it's a blessing in disguise for me that my mother is my student as well it's amazing my mother is not my student my mother is my teacher she look at my content <laughs> ye idhar edit theek nahi hua ye ye sound cut idhar hai you know you could have said this differently you could have done that differently but absolute genius uh, and i you know like it's it's so incredible that um, you know you spoke about that age group right obviously um, i genuinely feel when you're touching 40 50 there has to be something new in your life that you look forward to every day there has Got to it. be a bit of a refresh button because life is the same for you for a long time and then suddenly it's very easy for you to drop suddenly right in your enthusiasm for life in terms of your um you know health journey to alag baat hai but just in terms of your mental health um which is what you've provided you know for a lot of people um you know there's there's a sense of comfort factor despite you pushing them a lot which i am very grateful for they find it a little i got to push myself a little bit <laughs> but yes, uh, i am aware of that yes. i do it intentionally which so is i have important. to balance a little bit uh, in yeah. terms of yeah. thoda unka suno thoda apna ka chalao aise but it works well it does it does so so i think a great place for us to start is you know tell us how did this begin because you come from a very interesting background this is not something you set out to do is it you set out to do something not else really. landed up here so take us away tell us tell us how did this um, happen a uh, long story cut short i'm always uh, i used to be inspired by a lot of bollywood movies i would say and the movie that i wanted to have as a part of my life would be guru you know guru is a movie which mm-hmm. i take a lot of inspiration from and i dreamt of becoming the richest person in the world and all that uh, but i think there is one element that runs in the family is of social service mm-hmm. so i think i wanted to mix and match both of them and somehow it happened so i never thought that i would be a yoga teacher in my life i didn't want to become one or i have never ever dreamt of becoming a yoga teacher mm-hmm. and to be honest even before like 3 4 years back someone telling me that oh you teach yoga was something not well uh, to myself you know i was not very comfortable with people calling me that oh you are a yoga instructor i thought that it's not something that that defines completely who i am today it does today i'm very proud of being a yoga teacher but it was not that yeah. i i would say 3 years back yeah and this online journey to i'm sure everyone knows because of covid it all started so i'm also an art of living teacher i used to teach art of living programs before so a lot of right. my students were there who wanted to do something i also had time i was well equipped with zoom i had done a lot of meetings before on zoom and i think yeah. that was a pretty good start for me so i started teaching online the day lockdown began like 22nd march 2020 was my first online class i had like three students Timing. joining in yeah and uh, the fun part is that from 22nd march 2020 till 11th of october 2022 i have not taken mm-hmm. a single break wow so that is something 932 days of consistent practice of online kuch socha hai kuch socha hai break lene ka ki nahi nahi socha hai abhi to koi mood bhi nahi hai matlab log mujhe puchte rehte hai ki kya like kab tak karoge bore nahi hue kya to honestly uh, somewhere at 600 days i saw world record of 2500 ah And so there I is really a record that Yeah, there is a record uh, of 2,500. Okay. So I thought that let me attempt. पहले मैंने शुरू सौ से किया था. I thought I will do 100 days of consistent practice. Yeah. But then lockdown था कुछ था ही नहीं करने के लिए. वैसे ही घर पे थे तो. Anyways, I practice yoga. You know your uh, your students will be watching and listening to this, and they'll have a bittersweet feeling. Oh, अच्छा, great. So there's two two thousand five hundred days. But they'll be like, oh no, there's two thousand five hundred days. रोज रोज घिसने वाला ये इंसान हमें 
हाँ सो मैंने तो ऐसे सोच रखा है एटलीस्ट राइट नाउ आई हैव दिस माइंड सेट दैट आई डू अंटिल आई डाई दिस इज माय ऑनेस्ट फीडबैक टू माय सेल्फ लेट मी डू इट अंटिल समथिंग एक्सट्रीम हैपन सो आई टेल यू व्हाट इन फेब्रुअरी 2021 आई वाज गोइंग टू द जिम एंड द इंस्ट्रक्टर पुश मी सो हार्ड दैट आई हैड अ माइनर ए सी एल टीयर आई स्टिल हैव दैट इशू इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स कम्प्लीटली हील्ड in fact mm-hmm. i was shooting a reel yesterday and there was a lot of bending and mobility so i again got a little bit of pain so it goes on and off it's not like it's completely yeah. healed but it doesn't bother me also today another place where both of us have the same thing i also have <laughs> acl in my left knee which is why i stopped playing cricket so cricket yeah. i i'm i'm sure a lot of cricket and badminton players go through these issues a lot of sport uh, personalities go through these issues yeah so that was the time then doc- doctor told me that you have to go to a surgery and you will need like a two month long break and i was yeah. not ready for it i was like ki main nahi lunga break so luckily at that point if you have seen my sessions there is another small guy who yeah. uh, who's like a support for me he does yeah. the yeah. difficult variations i call him yeah. chotu his name is pramod by the way a lot of people don't know that so uh, chotu is easier to pronounce pramod bolne mein aisa samay bhi bahut lagta hai yeah <laughs> so on the same day when doctor told me that you cannot do exercise from tomorrow i sat with him i told him bhai tujhe karna hai kal se he was so supportive he is already a born athlete i don't have to train him to do exercise his inbuilt format is like i want to do some exercise a natural athlete Mm. Correct. It's he's a very natural athlete. He's his best score of hundred meter. If I have to say, it's eleven seconds. So he can That's run hundred meter. Very impressive. Yes. The the yes. the national record is eight point nine or something or nine point two. No no nine point no. Usain Bolt's record is I think nine point seven eight or something. Nine point seven. Correct 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 correct. Yeah yeah. So he can do it in eleven. But after eleven, like I in in fact like before eleven, every point one second is like extremely tough. Of course, yeah. Yeah, so from eleven, it it sounds like he's only one point three second का तो difference है, but it's a very big difference. Huge, yeah, yeah. So yeah. on on the same day, I sat with him. He is not good with so good with English, and I had to train him for every single body part. I have to do like ये आँख होती है, ये पैर होता है, इसको hand बोलते हैं, इसको leg बोलते हैं, इसको thigh बोलते हैं. So I had to train him in anatomy first, and mm. then the next day we like. I sat with him for three hours to teach him eight exercises. कि कल सिर्फ आठ exercises इस करनी. And uh, so the point why I'm saying this is that when when you have a strong intent of you know doing something, you find out ways. So yeah. the classes still went on for eight days. I could not even bend my knee. I could not sit down. But he was the one who was doing. I was the one who was talking. And yeah. uh, that's how we continued. And it became a blessing in disguise in such a way that today people join our sessions because there are two variations one difficult and one easier otherwise yeah. i was the one who was teaching alone and i'm sure i couldn't do those two variations or do justice to those two variations if i was still teaching alone and i didn't know that yeah. he can be one of the, i was teaching for one year almost he yeah. stays with me like wo mere ghar ke upar hi rehta hai and i never thought that you know i i should introduce him as someone but this knee injury became like such a big blessing because today yeah. a lot of people join our sessions only because there are two variations absolutely big big deal you know you know what it is i think this one of the one of the themes of this podcast is um you know the story we tell ourselves um you know if we all have a story that we tell ourselves right pair toot gaya to cricket nahi khel paya uh you know wazan bahut zyada hai isliye uh you know exercise main, nahi ho payega exercise nahi ho payega ya trek pe nahi ja paunga these are the story we tell ourselves um all the time but you chose to go down uh, a positive route you said listen um with the fact that i have this injury i can you know use the resources around me to in fact do better and and mold my life in a better way is is right. that what it's about all the time in in fitness the story you tell yourself uh, which promotes you forward i it, it i think it's uh, for everything in life so i usually yeah. tell people in the beginning when i start my free session is do not label yourself yeah so i think a lot of people i ask them ki aap kyu regularly nahi kar pa rahe so they will say that i'm not a morning person i'm a lazy person 
और मेरा वजन ज्यादा है मैं फ्लेक्सीबल नहीं हूँ सो दीज आर ऑल लेबल्स दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड फॉर आर सेल्स एंड सो माई होल आइडिया ऑफ स्टार्टिंग दिस जर्नी वॉज टू हेल्प पीपल बिल्ड हैबिट्स एंड इट्स वेरी काउंटर प्रोडक्टिव फॉर अ हैबिट इफ यू स्टार्ट विद अ लेबल that yeah. if if Basically. suppose you want to wake up early and you have in mind that i am a night owl or i am a i am not a morning person then to break it it's going to take a lot of effort or rather you limit you yourself with, right at the start you limit yourself straight correct straight. correct correct to wo label wala element agar hum hata de it's not something very difficult to do you know you just have to bas agle din subah aap jaldi uth jao or it will start changing उतना जल्दी ब्रेक भी हो जाता है वो दैट्स द फन पार्ट अबाउट हैबिट बिल्डिंग दैट इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू बिल्ड बट इजियर टू ब्रेक बट इट्स नॉट सो डिफिकल्ट व्हाट वी इमेजिन इट टू बी हमको ऐसा लगता है कि बहुत ज्यादा टफ है बट इतना टफ भी नहीं है यो आई मीन यू ऑब्वियसली नेम्ड योर प्रैक्टिस हैबिट राइट व्हिच इज लाइक अ अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हैबिट एंड बिल्डिंग हैबिट राइट ऑब्वियसली um so what is the thought behind that and as is building habits at the core of it is that more like is does that take precedence o- over everything else yeah yeah absolutely uh, so there are a lot of things that we could have done uh to make more revenue in terms of classes or you know we could easily provide recordings people day in day out ask us ki aap hame recording de do we are ready to pay and all that but for us we know it for sure that recording ka percentage of completion is 2% nobody nobody ever watches a recording so that doesn't fit in our bracket of building habits and we absolutely upfront tell people that we will not give you recording yeah so every decision that we take is aligned with that is it going to help people build a habit or is it not going to help people build a habit if the answer is yes then we go ahead if the answer is no whatever it is we will say no to it yeah i i'm intrigued i mean you you obviously speak with a lot of passion about uh about um couple of things right one obviously is this drive to make something happen that is one very important variable the second one of course is this determination to makes you know ensure that there is some sort of service to people uh Got third it. is you love the process of yoga and and the process of living healthy um so essentially uh you know what what is your inner motivation as such you know i mean there are obviously these three pillars but there's har ek bande mein na ya bandi mein ek inner aag hoti hai ek cheez ki uh like my fire is helping people express themselves better you know like so what do you think is is your fire that is sort of helping you get up every morning to make this happen yeah i think uh, i i have pondered a lot on this question recently that why am i doing this i think everyone has this question sometime in their life especially in the bad times ki hum kyu kar rahe hai kya kar rahe hai ek din to marna hi hai wala question to aata hi hai so uh, of course there is one element that when people tell you that mera पीठ दर्द ठीक हो गया या मुझे सर्जरी रेकमेंड किया था और मुझे आज नहीं है जरूरत और मैं इतने समय से इतना बॉडी पेन हो रहा था और अभी आज नहीं है ऐसे हर दिन आते हैं मुझे फीडबैक बट आई थिंक आफ्टर वन आफ्टर वन पॉइंट दीज फीडबैक्स आर लाइक या ऑफ कोर्स इट्स ग्रेट फॉर यू बट दे डोंट बिकम योर मोटिवेशन यू नो एक बार के बाद आपके लिए वो मोटिवेशन नहीं रह जाता है सो आई वॉज रिसेंटली वॉन्डरिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट दैट वाई डू आई डू इट सो i don't know if it would be the right thing to say uh it's simply that i have been blessed with something and if i yeah. don't utilize it i am doing injustice to the world this is what i feel mm-hmm. so agar main apne pure potential ko use nahi kar pa raha hu if i can impact much more many more people and if i am not able to do it it really something happens to me within matlab agar main ek din bhi chutti lu ya mujhe main break lu ya main अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट डिलीवर ना करूं तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है कि यार कि यू हैव बीन गिवन सम स्किल सेट राइट आई यू कैन टॉक वेल यू कैन कम्युनिकेट वेल इट्स इजियर फॉर यू इट्स इजियर फॉर पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट यू से सो दीज आर ऑल स्किल सेट व्हिच आर बीन गिवन टू मी आई हैव नॉट डन समथिंग स्पेशल टू गेट दैम आई आई वुड नॉट से दैट कि मैंने कोई मेहनत की है एक्स्ट्रा की मुझे ये स्किल सेट मिले तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगेगा एक भी दिन अगर मैं उसको पूरा ढंग से इस्तेमाल ना करूं तो आई थिंक दैट्स माय इनर ड्राइव 
So I've been pondering this question. I don't know. Today, this is the answer. Tomorrow, it might be something else. But I can say this, that today, I fear yeah. not utilizing my potential to its capacity. No, 100%. And I think, uh, you know, when you're self-introspective, when you're somebody that looks within all the time, these answers uh, come out, they reveal themselves. Um, I think the the texture of the answer changes, but the core thing that that is uh, pretty much the same that will remain in alignment with you most of the times i i am not sure about that because yeah. the answer was different initially the <laughs> answer changed in the two years i have seen the answer change so many times but today really? this is the answer so Chalo, good, in between we'll use that ha matlab jaise shuru shuru mein it was all about Helping people to understand that yoga is so important and uh, yeah. if you COVID, then you have to do physical exercise karna hi zyada zaruri hai. So mm. initially that was the drive. Then after the COVID got suppressed, thoda kam hone laga, to people giving me feedback that yeah, it's helping us a lot. That was the drive. Today, I have gone past that feedback mode. Earlier, it yeah. was a lot yeah. that logo ko acha lag raha hai ya nahi. Aaj, I think uh, it's more about कि आपको कुछ मिला है तो आपको utilize करना ही चाहिए नहीं utilize yeah. करेंगे तो मुझे पता नहीं अंदर से शायद अच्छा ही नहीं लगेगा I would not be happy if I'm not doing it. Got it. Let's let's rewind the clock and let's uh, go back. Um, you know to to how it began again a little bit and I'm doing that because we can then go into the technicalities of yoga a little bit. We'll go into the technicalities of breath work a little bit so that people understand it. Um, do you remember your first, first, um, you know, I wouldn't say encounter, but your first experience of yoga and what it made you feel? Do you remember that? Do you remember a certain point in your early journey where it, where you felt like, "Acha, ye to sahi hai, sahi cheez hai ye." So I'll tell you an honest story. Okay, yoga and pranayam is something which has been very uh, naturally given to us. Like my father, uh, yeah. my grandfather was a doctor. Yeah. In 1955, he became MBBS. 1955, mein 12 log ya 15 log government medical college Nagpur se doctor bante de, tab he was a doctor of that time. And he was, he used to read a lot of books apart from allopathy of naturopathy, Ayurveda and a lot. Mm. So I already had an inclination to follow breathing pranayams and you know Ramde Baba ke free sessions hote the, to Kapal Bhati or Anulom Vilom or ye sab cheeze, main khud se karta tha. I don't know why there is no reason that I can tell ki isi liye main ye karta tha ya isi liye mujhe ye pasand hai hmm. but the turning point of my life was the art of living program so the moment I experienced Sudarshan Kriya for the first time that was a hit that was like ki bhai ye kya hua matlab mujhe aisa laga ki I was 20 when I did the Sudarshan Kriya or yeah. there's, there's yeah. a breath work by Art of Living. Yeah. And I literally felt that in 20 years, I have had a deep sleep for the first time. Oh. Itna strong experience. Wow. Tha uska. Wow. And I never thought that I would be teaching Sudarshan Kriya one day or I would be talking so much about breathing one day or I would become a yoga instructor. I had severe asthma as a kid. And mm. Sudarshan Kriya was a blessing to me. Madlab, Sudarshan Kriya ke baad, I became so much more better with my lung capacity, with my stamina. It, I could really see it. A lot of people mm. might not see it immediately, but I had a lot of issues. So issues hote hai, aapko uska positive impact, mm. I think, thoda jaldi dikhta hai. So, mujhe wo impact bohut jaldi dikha aur mujhe laga ki, yeh process bohut amazing hai, mujhe yeh rose karni chahiye. Hmm. And the ecosystem of art of living teachers and volunteers is such a way that, you know, they make you feel interested in yoga, pranayam and breathing. Right. And I always wanted to do yoga, pranayam, breathing, I, but I never thought that I would be teaching it to someone or I would volunteer for art of living. It happened by the way. Hmm. Now, my love for yoga was always there. I should not say this officially, but it's okay. I think we can try that. So, uh, IITs mein ragging hoti hai, okay. Mm -hmm. IITs, ha, IITs ah, hamare type hoti thi. Ab, ab shayad itni nahi hoti hogi, ab band bhi ho gai hogi. So but common phenomena. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, for me, I used to, it was my style of ragging that I used to wake up my juniors at 6 o'clock <laughs> and make them do compulsory yoga with me 
and i am telling you honestly they used to hate me in the morning but love me after one and a half hour of bhai ye bahut pyara ragging hai yaar bahut hi pyara ragging hai ha to and i can tell you this it ye ragging wala element became so much what do you call we became so much like a family hame yaad hai ki hum log jo cultural festival hota hai iit ka wo organize kar rahe the and we really had the best team of a lot of time like matlab mood in deco saal 5 saal mein sabse acha team tha yeah yeah jo itne sare logo ko involve karke chal raha tha yeah and we had a lot of fun organizing those events together you know juniors yeah. are always an integral part of any organizing fest so i was the yeah. convener uh, i was heading the yeah. project in the fourth year so yeah. it was phenomenal my ragging helped me a lot in my <laughs> second year and third year <laughs> यार बहुत so, लोग कहते हैं इस बात को लेकिन ये स्टोरी मैंने कहीं नहीं सुनी मतलब उठाओ और योगा कराओ ये बढ़िया रैगिंग है सच में सो आई टेल यू व्हाई दे यूज्ड टू कम बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ सीक्रेट ओके आई हैव नॉट नॉट सेड दिस टू एनीवन एक्सेप्ट फ्यू पीपल सो आई वाज अ मेस मैनेजर आल्सो ओके आईआईटीज में मेस मैनेजर होते हैं सो व्हेन यू आर अ मेस मैनेजर यू हैव अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ पावर्स दैट यू कैन मिसयूज ऑफ कोर्स सो जितने लोग आते थे ना उनको फ्री बनाना शेक मिलता था okay. तो हम लोग सब मिलके बनाना शेक तो बनाना शेक इज अ कॉस्टली अफेयर ओके इट वाज लाइक थर्टी रुपीज और सो सो एवरी डे गेटिंग अ फ्री बनाना शेक एंड आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन दिस दैट कुछ तो गाजर होना चाहिए लाइफ में अच्छा रहता है फॉर गुड रीजन नॉट लाइक बैड रीजन फॉर गुड रीजन बिल्कुल बनाना शेक वॉज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ हेल्प यू नो ग्रेटिफिकेशन जैसे हैबिट बिल्डिंग में एक रिवॉर्ड एक फैक्टर होता है बहुत बड़ा तो I used to do it unknowingly. I I didn't know the science of habit building then, but they used yeah. to get a banana shake, and that's how they got hooked to this. So we did it for like a good amount of time. मतलब कुछ हमने पचास साठ दिन तो एकदम regularly किया, फिर थोड़ा fourth year में you know practical आ जाता है या exam वगैरह आ जाता है, तो थोड़ा ऊपर नीचे में वो रह गया. But we had like a lot of fun. Now this was an experience. Which solidified in me becoming a teacher was one incident I remember. So I have a mentor whose name is Rajesh. Okay, mm-hmm. Rajesh is a senior art of living teacher, and he also is very passionate about yoga. So he saw that you know I am very passionate about yoga. I wanted to learn a lot of asanas, and one day I went to him and said, "Ki aap mujhe ye asan sikhao, wo asan sikhao," which is very wrong to say. You know, asan sikhna is not yoga. It it is something much more. But every beginner wants ki. जैसे लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन पीपल आस्क मी दिस कि आप ये आसन बताओ या वो आसन बताओगे इट डजंट मैटर मतलब आसन इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी स्मॉल बट ही वाज काइंड इनफ टू नॉट यू नो सपोर्ट माय एंथूसियाज्म एंड आई टोल्ड हिम कि आप मुझे कुछ तो सिखाओ तो ही टॉट मी त्रिकोण आसन एंड ही टोल्ड मी कि ये ये इंस्ट्रक्शंस करो सो आई डिड इट एंड ही टोल्ड मी दिस एंड दैट वाज वन मेजर ट्रिगर दैट आई रियलाइज दैट ओ आई एम गुड एट इट ही सेड दैट कि इतना अच्छा त्रिकोण आसन फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में किसी का नहीं आता है एंड दैट वाज वन ट्रिगर ऑफ फॉर मी दैट लाइक दैट दैट शिफ्टेड माय माइंड कि मे बी आई एम गुड एट योगा अर्लियर आई यूज टू फाइंड योगा एज अ वे टू कनेक्ट टू पीपल हेल्दी रहना एंड ऑल दैट बट दैट वाज वन पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इट्स नॉट समथिंग बिग यू नो बट कुछ कुछ चीजें छोटी बहुत बड़ा इंपैक्ट क्रिएट कर देती है एंड आई आई क्लियरली रिमेम्बर दिस दिस वॉज टू Mm-hmm. I was just going to graduate from college, and uske pehle it was like last uh, few months of the college, and he was there in the co- uh, in the campus, yeah. and that that was one moment where I f- where I thought that, अरे yoga से कुछ तो हमारे जीवन में भी होगा. That's a nice way to put it, but uh, you know it's not original, sort of, right? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> It is absolutely real. This is, I, of course, I don't. Real. Yeah, yeah. No, I, what I mean is, it's it's just been said so much in the last few years, and people have begun to experience this because there's this recent wave of, um, you know, awareness about yoga, right? Uh, that that people have woken up to, they've understood. There's also the uh, the the factor that the West has really adopted yoga. I always wonder yeah. how do how do yoga teachers in India look at this. um you know wave of the west really adopting yoga and making it cool um this was a question that i was supposed to ask much later but i think this is a good time to ask it how do you look at it so i think that in india people started becoming yoga teachers after it started becoming cooler in the west 
सो आई डोंट थिंक पीपल लुक एट इट लाइक कि अरे हम पहले से सिखा रहे थे और उन उन्होंने हमसे कॉपी कर लिया आई थिंक इट इज दी अदर वे राउंड बिकॉज इट्स बिकम कूल इन द बेस्ट नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वॉन्ट टू बिकम योगा इंस्ट्रक्टर्स टूडे सो आई थिंक इट हेज दिस माई परसेप्शन आई डोंट नो वॉट्स द रियालिटीज एंड आई पर्सनली डू नॉट कंपेयर विद द बेस्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ योगा आई फील दैट योगा इज वेरी वेरी पर्सनल एंड एवरी वन कैन हैव दर ओन डेफिनेशन मतलब आप अगर तीन अलग अलग टेक्स्ट देखोगे तो योगा के डेफिनेशन अलग अलग है लाइक पतंजलि में अलग डेफिनेशन है भगवत गीता में अलग डेफिनेशन है योगा का सो आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी पर्सनल डेफिनेशन ऑफ वॉट यू कॉल एज योगा सो आई थिंक वेस्ट कॉल्स योगा इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे एंड पर्सनली आई फील दैट इट्स नो वेर क्लोज टू वॉट आई थिंक योगा इज सो आई एब्सोल्युटली हैव नो कंपेरिजन की वेस्ट में ज्यादा कूल है या इंडिया में ऐसा है आई हैव नेवर इवन थॉट अबाउट इट या so what is it that you how do you look at yoga what is your perception? i think i i look at yoga as something that makes you happy and it can be anything not the wrong thing but of course like people feel that yeah. uh kuch tv dekhne se agar acha lagta hai to wo yoga definitely nahi hai but uh, you get it right which genuinely yeah. makes you feel happy from within not like bound you to something external yeah that is yoga for me it can be asana it can be pranayama it can be uh following contentment or it can be practicing contentment or it can be doing anything you know art paint podcast it mm-hmm. can be anything that genuinely makes you feel happy from within is yoga for me that's my definition could you elaborate on that a little bit because it's it while uh, you know the word happy is simple and yet complex at the same time so uh, how do you view it in that sense because you mentioned a bunch of things and uh, the the common theme in all of that of course is happiness but it's also the sense of being dedicated towards something being in flow you know that that the state of flow um in 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 a practice right uh, could you elaborate a little bit more about uh, the happiness bit that you mentioned what do you mean by that exactly so i think there are two ways to look at it one is that uh one element is that we feel that this would make us happy in the term okay. of like suppose if you buy a new iphone you feel that it will give you happiness mm-hmm. but after two days or three days or four days it's another phone you know it's just another phone for you right but practicing yoga asana or pranayam it's something that make you makes you feel happier from within that's a different kind of happiness it's not dependent on external factors it's not dependent on ki iphone milega to hi khush honga ya fir kuch acha hoga to hi khush hoga so there is it's not that i have gained the state that i'm not dependent on external things but it has reduced a lot so mm-hmm. i'm not saying that ki aaj agar mujhe iphone milega to mujhe acha nahi lagega ya ya i'm not dependent on iphone but i am saying that it it has becoming less and less day by day of course you you are inspired by guru so, so i think uh, when you yeah ha uh-huh. ha i said you know, I miss- the the movie that inspires you is guru so obviously you want to still grow in life in the materialistic yeah. way but there Absolutely. is an inner sense of happiness with yoga right that's what you mean right so that's what defines uh, i think if you get that element then only i think you can do it for a long time if you do it लाइक like, ऐसे आपको अगर वो टेम्प्ररी अगर कुछ होता है ना तो आई थिंक वो लंबे समय के लिए नहीं चल सकता इफ आई इफ आई जेनुअनली डिंट फाइंड और डिंट गेट हैप्पीनेस आउट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस और आउट ऑफ टीचिंग आई डोंट थिंक आई वुड बी एबल टू सस्टेन इट फॉर 932 डेज सो आई थिंक व्हाट आई मीन बाय हैप्पीनेस इज दैट यू नो इवन इफ यू गेट बोर्ड एट सम पॉइंट यू नो दैट इट इज गुड फॉर यू एंड यू विल स्टिल कंटिन्यू डूइंग इट so that's what i'm talking about so it's not like yeah. ki aap hamesha muskurate raho ya aapke chehre pe ekdam aisa brightness dikhega aisa nahi hai but yeah. uh, what i'm saying is that ki aapko pata hai ki yaar ye karenge to acha rahega jeevan mein that's something which when i say that you know it gives you happiness of course absolutely i think it, you know um it, it all depends on how you view it uh, a lot of times your your motivation towards pursuing exercise determines how far you go in it right you you try to get a six pack abs by the time sunburn uh, is up and around or you want to build a healthy core right that is going to be the key determinant of how you pursue absolutely, it absolutely absolutely yeah 
so in terms of in terms of um, the outlook of people for yoga uh, what is it that you've experienced in your interactions with everybody how do people view this practice what are our motivations largely i think largely it is weight loss there's no two two uh, things about it if i have taken a lot of feedback like we take feedback day in day out of people who have joined us people who are yet to join us people who join us for the free sessions weight loss is the major factor that everyone starts practicing yoga so i honestly i market also in the in in the initial thing that you know do yoga for weight loss i also yeah. do it because people want something to look at right mm-hmm. the the moment they enter my session the first thing i ask them is that whatever that you expect of yoga or whatever that you are here for tell me one quality that we should have that will give you this result mm. and i don't have to say anything after that because the yeah. obvious answer which everyone knows and says is discipline regularity consistency in practice and i tell them that you know this is step number 1 if you become regular then we are eligible to ask other questions that teach me this format of yoga or that format of yoga or teach me more about how can i burn fat and how can i build muscle and all that but if our step number 1 is not sorted there is no point knowing other stuff yeah so that's how uh, oh, I, and the to answer your question how people or what is the perspective of people for yoga i think it's come from the west a lot that it is a form of physical exercise it is not a lot of people look at yoga as a medium to lose weight or become flexible or uh, you know cure some ailment or disease or it is changing now but the main perception is this that it is a format of physical exercise you know zumba is one format yoga is one format hit is another format cardio is one format going to the gym is one format so they put yoga in that basket which is i think not the right thing to do how should we view it then i think to begin with it's a good idea you know i i should not say that mm. they are wrong in terms of thinking it so yoga if you read the standard text for yoga that's patanjali yoga sutra yoga yeah. has eight elements asana is one of them so it is 16.6% of the entire yoga practice that that can be done in fact i would say it is follow and there are some uh self discipline that you should follow those are 5 and 5 10 or i yeah. think follow karna bhi apne aap mein ek bahut badi baat hai to aisa nahi hai ki ye linked hai jaise aath cheeze hoti hai patanjali yoga sutra mein yam niyam asan pranayam dharana dhyan samadhi so aap koi bhi ek pakad sakte ho aur kisi ek mein bhi expert ban sakte ho yoga can the asanas can be one medium that you uh, experience and you know reach to other things but i think we uh, take it very superficially in terms of uh, asana practice also it's more of physical exercise in fact i start my session with giving them what they want uh, like you know in the start we discuss this that ki aapki mummy ko kuch chahiye meri mummy ko kuch chahiye ya jo bhi unko chahiye rehta hai so that's the initial 30 minutes yeah and the last 15 minutes is what i really want them to do mm. that's repetitive that's boring but i still push them to do it a lot of people drop off at that point you know 20% people yeah. drop off during when i'm uh, when we are doing those set of asanas but that's how it is i genuinely want the rest of the people who are staying back to experience something deeper and that cannot happen with words that can happen only with practice what's the goal then in the process of building habit and doing yoga making it a part of your life the habit is the goal the process yeah. is the goal doing it every day is the goal it's not reaching somewhere mm. even even when you look at it from a spiritual plane uh, i i mean i'm not sure uh, are you spiritual do you are you spiritual person? i think everyone who has a spirit has to be spiritual even if they the believe answer. or not everyone is matlab aap nahi bologe ki i am not spiritual that matlab it's like asking a man are you alive Yeah. he can say that no i am a dead person but that doesn't make him dead you know every person who has a spirit is spiritual that's my definition mm that's a good definition but uh, in that sense so so keeping that in mind um 
the you know the process of of yog is uh, is is the goal is what you're saying there's no you don't have to get somewhere just getting into the process is as good as it gets yes that's what i feel and i i don't think i can define a goal uh for myself or someone else as well uh, you can have goal like lose weight for 5 kilos losing weight or have six pack abs and all that that's fine you know you should have all those goals but you always have to know that once you reach the goal it will definitely go ahead and shift like when you get iphone 13 you definitely want iphone 14 also it's not yeah. that you're going to stop somewhere fascinating fascinating i think um the there is just so much information that's available about yoga right and uh, like you mentioned uh, this this country has such an incredible history of it, it this is the place where it was born the, the way it was made great yogis of the past adi shankara acharya ji ki lahiri mahashaya so many so many absolute divine incarnations like you mentioned uh, maharshi patanjali who literally went around the the country putting all of you know um the yoga that was so detailed and diverse at that point and put it together uh, you know which is now what we call modern yoga right um are there any personalities in particular that you you sort of are always drawn to in terms of the great yogis of this country uh I am not drawn to people of the past for sure I don't relate to them much uh, of course right. I love Patanjali uh, for yeah. the fact that what he said back then is so scientific in terms of the mind mm. but if you ask me today who's my inspiration I would say Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar ji of course he is yeah. one man who I have seen display yoga in his life you know one is you talk about yoga the other is that you show what yoga really is and i have personally worked a lot in the art of living as an organization as a volunteer and i have attended yeah. a lot of programs so i can tell you this that real essence of yoga cannot happen without having a guru's presence in one's life and it's a very logical mind telling you that you have to trust the process i have had my doubts i have had a lot of things to question that is this the right thing am i getting swayed or is it a cult or is, do i really need someone to tell me what how to live but i think the answer is yes to all the questions so when i say that you need a guru in life you need someone to give you that experience not just the words so yeah that's what i think uh, has helped me a lot to introspect also in terms of ki what yoga should be for someone you know uh, this uh, here's something that i absolutely have to ask you right you mentioned guru right so obviously you have a guru but now your you know people accept you as their yoga guru uh, as much while they practice they hear you and they hear your instruction what do you feel and experience when you practice by yourself that's a very good question so uh, initially when i started teaching yoga it was all about impressing who is my student you know initially when you start your journey it's like ki samne wala jo kar raha hai usko main acha lag raha hu ya nahi ya usko uh, he should tell me that you know you are a good instructor and you know it started with this i i'll i'll have to be very honest here but i think if i say it today i feel that the guru principle is present in every one of us you know it's not that uh, there is there's of course a physical form which you can adore and which you can associate with but the guru element is present in all of us and uh, when you practice meditation when you practice or when you yourself trust that there is this principle i think it flows through you as well so i think uh, that has helped me a lot in terms of uh, i am teaching because i want to make an impact and not because i want to gain some praises initially it was the reverse of course mm -hmm. there was always an element of helping people but i think uh, what takes precedence is something changes with time with maturity that you have सो so, पहले पहले बिल्कुल ऐसा था कि अरे मेरी तारीफ होनी चाहिए लोग बोलने चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है कि आज मुझे पसंद नहीं है कि मेरी तारीफ करे लोग बट 
आई थिंक थोड़ा सा वो कम हो गया है अभी और अब आई uh, थिंक मेरे सेशन में मैंने ये चेंज नोटिस किया है दैट I teach in terms of what is more impactful rather than what is more fun. Uh, earlier it was कि लोगों को मजा आना चाहिए But आज ऐसा है कि लोगों को genuinely impact होना चाहिए Fun वाला element I try to incorporate because it's always good to have fun so that you become regular. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but what what is your primary goal that has changed a lot in past two years? Interesting. Uh... you know while you mentioned instruction i think the most important bit there is trust right because you're handing your body over to somebody um and and you know being in goa uh, we obviously see there's a lot of um focus uh, th- there are a lot of yoga practices there are schools there are you know teachers etc etc but i've always been very mindful of the dangers of bad instruction um could you talk a little bit about that because uh you know there's there's so much information available and there are so many people available that are out there that claim to be spiritually enhanced and powerful etc um you know if we could warn people about the dangers of poor instruction trusting the wrong people uh, i think that'll go a long long way i think uh, as humans we are pretty intelligent to understand whom to trust you know there is an inner instinct that always tells you ki bhai kya chal raha hai so uh, i don't want to comment on anyone else but if I, if you ask me that how do i deal with it because i like i think i would be i have been asked this question a lot of times that you don't see us you have like 1500 2000 people joining your session at the same time how do you monitor people so mm-hmm. my symbol funda is that i don't go into advanced format of asanas yoga advanced yeah. yoga and advanced asanas are two different elements so i don't go in the advanced format of asanas i get this day in day out to start a batch where you teach advanced asanas it's not that i cannot do that i myself can practice headstand at least not handstand if to so but i don't want to do that because i know that there is a risk of injury when you practice difficult asanas uh, i and it doesn't make really sense to me that what good will you achieve if you do something strenuous right even if you practice head stack for example matlab kya hi achieve kar loge aap apne jeevan mein ek head stand karke ek inner satisfaction milega waise dekha jaye to kya kuch bhi achieve karke kya hi kar loge aap but i want to tell people that ki एक चक्रासन करने से या एक सुपरमैन पोज ज्यादा अच्छा करने से या एक आसन आपसे नहीं हो रहा है और वो हो जाए तो इट्स अगेन लाइक अ सिंपल यू नो गेटिंग अ न्यू फोन विच यू लाइक फॉर सम डेज बट देन यू लूज इंटरेस्ट एंड देन यू वांट समथिंग मोर डिफिकल्ट सो दिस नो एंड टू इट एंड माई एजेंडा इज नॉट टू टीच पीपल योगा माई एजेंडा इज टू टीच पीपल कंसिस्टेंसी ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एंड यू नो सरप्राइजिंगली आई शुड से दिस when i talk about consistency of practice and patanjali yoga sutra you know i love that book absolutely the first shloka of patanjali yoga sutra says atha yoga anushasanam that and the meaning is and let's begin with the discipline of yoga the discipline the first shloka is the foundation of what i want to do in life it's all about discipline uske baad sab kuch aata hai you know difficult or whatever or headstand or handstand it's not that i don't want to do head handstand i also want to i i dream of doing a handstand or a full split but it doesn't bother me today that are mujhse nahi ho raha of course as a yoga instructor when i want to promote myself on instagram or youtube it's good to have mm-hmm. such difficult skill set because that impresses people and you know they want to join you but it doesn't bother me so much as it used to bother me earlier because i have been practicing yoga since 10 years and if you ask me that what have you achieved with in terms of your physical splits or flexibility nothing much nothing much but i am much more happier in life that's for sure which is a hard thing to get uh which is a which is the toughest thing to get to be honest in today's world look here's how i look at it right i mean uh i feel um we are always looking for the tower moments like we are in life we always want to like you know that but spike. the tough the, the tough, whatever you want to call it yeah the spike the tougher thing to do is go 
like that you know like keep going keep going keep going keep going till my hand goes out of the frame but and and that is where i think um, the you know uh, the role of a teacher comes in i would not like i i do a lot of weight training i love weight training for some reason it it's absolutely amazing right it gives me I, and there are two things that i wish to do in weight training one is i don't miss a monday workout two is i don't miss two uh, you know i don't want to miss two sessions back to back in a week um these are two things and this is something that was taught to me by an instructor i would rather go to an instructor that teaches me this than somebody who will teach me to deadlift 300 pounds i don't care about deadlifting 300 pounds i'd rather understand the ins and outs of it and how it can become a part of me that's more important that's what habit building is all about yeah certainly it's it, and and i think it's it's at the foundation of everything you do in life like you write this everything at work in relationships uh you know your relationship with yourself how you show up the attitude that you have and and the things that you do in regularity pretty simple absolutely um i want to switch gears a little bit and and talk a little bit about breath work because it's such a crucial part of our existence we are we are here because of our breath um and the the you know again to go back into the conversation about india and yoga um the value of breath work has been you know documented and written and by you know geniuses from thousands of years ago um and we continue to um sort of uh, compound on it in a certain way but also we faced a lot of difficulty because we couldn't breathe well enough case in example is covid uh of course so much of it was centered around being able to breathe um you know i observe a lot of people who try and climb a flight of stairs they can't breathe they struggle to breathe um so how important is breath work you know to ensuring that you live well that you amplify your life force um and also in the practice of yoga to start with i would say breath work is much more important than physical exercise now people don't understand breath work and the value because it doesn't give you immediate results like if you exercise you sweat you feel something you have done but when you practice breathing you technically don't get anything instantly so there's uh, uh, one element of breathing which is which i would say is it's uh, uh, you know uh, when you talk about breathing you are breathing continuously you are breathing for 24/7 right and you don't take breaks in that yeah it is energizing your body every single second and i'm sure if you know about it that we take 10000 liters of air in a single day in single breath we take half a liter of air in and out wow. yes so continuously when you're breathing so much and if you are not focusing on it you are definitely not going to have the quality of life that you want to so people feel that because you are breathing anyways and it's free there is not there is nothing much to be learnt about it but that's absolutely not true until you have a proper training in breathing you will not realize what breathing can do for you and i can definitely say it it's purely magical if you know how breath works not breath work how breath works in terms yeah. of your body and in terms of your mind and in terms of your emotions as well it's mm. absolutely magical our breathing is such a deep phenomena which we failed to realize and you know uh, maybe like 1000 year ago or whenever <clears throat> india was the country to look at yeah, yeah. every child was first introduced to breathing the mm. first element of teaching at 8 years when they used to go to gurukul was learning about controlling the breathing and handling the mind yeah until and unless i think we go back to that format of teaching in our schools we will not have that glory back that's my personal belief again 
but i feel it's that crucial what has your experience been of breathwork um how has your journey been of realizing breathwork obviously you mentioned the art of living foundation and sudarshan kriya i'm sure played a huge role in that um uh, but um you know just for us to understand um you know you did mention how understanding breathwork makes a huge difference uh to your life what is what is the difference that it has made to you so i i don't think i can answer that question in in one minute or two minutes but okay. i would say that it just changed my life and it's not something i want to say it like are pehle aisa tha aur baad mein aisa ho gaya but i feel it it has genuinely changed me as a person my thought process my belief system my way to look at life uh my physical strength stamina the the issues that i used to face earlier so a completely changed in every aspect that i can think of wow that's, that's about it i i don't know how to put it in words i do not know i don't have that vocabulary to say you're in love man <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely absolutely if you talk I'm about breathing it. i can i can just start talking and it will go on for 2 hours 3 hours and i can just keep talking about it no i mean it's it's wonderful because um a lot of the things that leave us speechless in life are are things that we can only feel you know absolutely things that you can only feel a, lot, a very few times i mean you're an you're a very good communicator and if you're if you're speechless <laughs> there's something going no, no, i there. i don't think i'm a very good communicator when it comes to uh, uh explaining or f- sharing how it feels i'm definitely a good expl- person who can explain you stuff An but instructor? not a good communicator i don't think good, i'm a good good instructor perhaps good, good instructor experience. i would agree i i can uh, yeah. i can accept that that fact that yeah i give good instructions and i can make things simple to look at but communication is not something i'm good at i would not say yes to that <laughs> well let's go back to something that you're good at which is giving instructions and uh, <laughs> i think you're talking about breath work a little bit let's talk about it a little bit more before we before we segue um if if somebody is listening to this or watching this which i hope they will um and you know obviously they're struggling with their breath there are some bad habits or there are no bad habits uh regardless right um how do they begin this process of you know breathing easier breathing better using their breath to power their life how do they start so i would mention one very interesting fact before i talk about breathing is that there was a research which shows 95% of people today are breathing wrong and i'm not kidding you can google it mm. 95% you know लाइक कैसे ऐसा हो सकता है कि 95% परसेंट पीपल डू नॉट नो अबाउट ब्रीदिंग एट ऑल सो वट इज द राइट वे टू ब्रीद राइट वे टू ब्रीद इज टू ब्रीद लेस वन सेकेंड याबोरेट टू दैट बट इफ यू आस्क मी दैट वेयर शुड दे बिगिन आई थिंक दे शुड डू एन आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग कोर्स टू बी ऑनेस्ट लाइक आपको उससे अच्छी जगह और कहीं नहीं हो सकती है ब्रीदिंग सीखने के लिए बट इफ आई हैव टू गिव वन सिंपल टिप लाइक there is something called as overeating mm-hmm. today everyone is doing over breathing and that's killing everyone okay breathing ke sath ye funda hai ki jitne aap stress hote ho ya jitna aap gussa karte ho bahut hi simple explanation dena chahunga i'm good at instruction thank you so yes. whenever you are in some stressful condition we breathe fast yes, yes. we breathe shallow we are not breathing fully we breathe too much so you can understand that whenever we are going through a negative phase or in stress we will breathe more now the point is even after that stress has gone away we do not know how to regulate the breathing and reduce it because we don't put any attention on the breathing right and mm-hmm. it continues so that's why a lot of people stre- feel stressed or drained in energy today because they are continuing with the faster breathing pattern so if you talk about 100 years back the normal breathing rate of an average human being would be 10 breaths per minute but mm. today that normal breathing rate has gone to maybe 12 or 14 or yeah. india mein aisa bola jata hai uh, ki aapki number of breaths fixed hote hai ya aap agar ek 
uh, if you see a dog, you know, the dog is breathing so fast that so they have yeah. a life for 14 years, 15 years. If you take a tortoise, they are breathing like two or three breaths a minute. They can live for 200 years. Yeah. So of course there is no correlation with humans because the body is different and all that, but there is some element which is common for sure. And it's this common with every uh, living being, right? Koi bhi aap dekhoge, uh, animal or who has shorter lifespan, they usually breathe fast. Usually, I'm not saying for everyone, but and uh, the animals which are living for a longer lifespan, they have lesser breathing rates. That's common. Of course, there's no correlation, but this is a phenomena that you can see across. Of course. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that because of the stress, because of so much of overload of information, the natural breathing rate of humans today has become more. And mm. you have to consciously learn breathing, practice breathing to reduce it. There's no other way. Mm. Interesting. That's all I would I, say. You know, it's very interesting. You said that because uh, I I did a podcast about longevity uh, with uh, Dr. Dr. Marcus Rane, who is one of the leading researchers of longevity in the world. And um, he, the, one of the key things for longevity is for the cells in your body to be in survival mode. And that often happens when you're doing tough things and when you're deprived of oxygen. So, you know, folks, uh, you uh, when when folks are training even for mountaineering, the, you do a lot of oxygen deprivation training where you wear masks that regulates the oxygen that comes into your body. And that's how your cells uh, toughen up and, you know, they become stronger and therefore, you know, everything in your body produces better, it regulates better and turns out you live longer. You just do end up living longer, case into your point. So... Uh, this is not the first place I've heard it. And to be honest, the more I hear it, the more it's making sense to me, you know, deprive yourself of the oxygen that you're getting, not completely, but a little bit. I would like to, uh, uh, like take a pause here because yeah, what you're saying is right in a way, but there is a space in between where you have to do this. So when, when I'm talking about, you know, you know, it's not like yeah. extreme this side or extreme that side. Yeah. My, so my thing was a... obviously for athletes, from an athlete Correct. perspective, from a mountaineering perspective, not for the everyday folks like you and me, obviously. No, no. I, what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, yeah. when you deprive yourself of oxygen, it's a good thing in a way that you're making your cells tougher. You're increasing the blood cell count because there's something called a spleen in your body. Of I don't course. know if you know that. Yes. You know, right? Yes. Right. Yes. So when you deprive yourself of oxygen, what your body does is that it produces more blood cells to capture more oxygen. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's how you become more with your blood count and your cells become, uh, they can work better under stress and all, but you cannot push it to the extreme. Okay. Not everyone can do it. Now, when I say over breathing, it also has an element of your body having oxygen, but you're not able to use it. And I'll explain you how it's a very yeah. simple phenomena. So when you breathe in, right, there is a gas exchange happening. Your body yeah. gets oxygen. You breathe out carbon dioxide. When you're right. over breathing, technically what you're doing is that your body is getting oxygen, but your body is pushing out more carbon dioxide. Now, the main important phenomena for your body is to, for every cell is to get oxygen also. Depriving oxygen is one element which you can do for some time, but for a proper functioning of your cell, you need oxygen for that cell, right? Of course. Yes. Your blood has oxygen. You can check on SpO2 monitor and it will show 98, 99. So your blood is flushed with oxygen. It doesn't deprive of oxygen. Now, if your body doesn't have enough carbon dioxide, the cells cannot take oxygen from the blood because the bond is so strong. It needs carbon dioxide to break it. Mm -hmm. Am I making sense? Right, right. Of course. Yes. So in terms of over breathing, what you are technically doing is you are depriving your body of CO2. And if your mm -hmm. body doesn't have enough CO2, you will not be able to utilize the oxygen, which your body already has. Yeah. Okay. So these are two different things. Of course, when you deprive yourself of oxygen, 
Yeah. What happens yeah. is that your body produces more blood cells. Your spleen squeezes itself to produce more blood cells. Exactly. That's what happens yeah. when you go underwater and when you are holding your breath for a longer time. Yeah. But this phenomena is a little different than what I'm talking. So what I'm talking mm. is that having enough carbon dioxide to utilize that oxygen which your body has. That's what happens when you are sitting for a long time. When you are sitting for a long time, what happens? Your body is absolutely at rest. You are not producing enough oxygen, especially to those areas where are, which are like stuck to the seat, and they mm. don't get proper oxygen because there is no carbon dioxide production in that area. And then the cells start to degenerate, and then you'll have joint pain and the back pain and all those things. This is Got one yeah. element. Now yeah. that's why people tell you to move. You know, just keep moving. Even if you don't do proper exercise, just move. Why? Because moving produces more carbon dioxide. You can absorb more oxygen, and every cell of the body is flushed with more oxygen. That's how you become more healthier. Mm. I don't know if it was too much of explanation. No, it oh, it was absolutely spot on because uh, there's a fine line to that. Uh, there is a very very fine line to that because you can just assume one side of things and completely ignore the other, and uh, it doesn't correlate. It doesn't make sense. But when you look at it this way, then it does make sense. So the idea is to obviously, uh, you know, try and you know reduce the the amount of intake and outtake. Right? Do not exploit your, um, you know, the gift that you have of breathing, uh, but optimize it. and also movement right movement is also another very Absolutely. important thing so how much movement uh do you think would you would you advise for people how much movement how scientifically much if i have to say it is scientifically it is proven so i don't have to say like i am not a scientist at all so uh, what my advice would be doing something every day and scientifically if you ask me the answer is 150 minutes per week if you are about 30 35 years of age yeah so ye science hai बट मैं ये बोलूंगा कि हर दिन कुछ करना चाहिए हर दिन इवन इफ यू डू फॉर लाइक टेन मिनट्स डू समथिंग यू हैव टू गेट इनटू द हैबिट ऑफ डूइंग इट एंड नॉट यू नो चालीस मिनट करना भी एक बैरियर बन जाता है किसी के लिए कि अरे आज चालीस मिनट नहीं है तो मैं करूंगा ही नहीं दिस इज नॉट राइट यू नो इफ यू डोंट है आई टेल पीपल डू इट फॉर फोर मिनट्स यू नो डू अटाटा सेट टबाटा इज अ वेरी फेमस फॉर्म एट दीज डेज वेर यू डू ट्वेंटी सेकंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन सेकंड ऑफ रेस्ट डू इट फॉर फोर मिनट्स it doesn't matter but do something on a given day and that will help hmm this the the 40 minutes thing is that a, is that a wait for us to procrastinate i've seen this <laughs> i've seen this in a lot of people no i think uh, 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 that's what you know people have some mental blocks when it comes to exercise matlab ab mere paas 1 ghanta nahi hai to main exercise hi nahi nikal ye kaisa logic hua क्योंकि आज मेरे पास समय नहीं है चार मिनट नहीं है ऐसा तो हो ही नहीं सकता तो दैट्स व्हाट आई टेल पीपल एंड टीच आल्सो दैट अगर आपके पास एक मिनट एक घंटा नहीं है आप चार मिनट एक्सरसाइज करो चार मिनट तो कर ही सकते हैं बॉक्सेस ऑफ लिविंग हेल्थी what do people need to do to begin their journey of health and and just do on an everyday basis to optimize their body and mind so i love being very practical you know i, I recommend in my sessions if if i tell people something it is something it has to be really practical matlab yeah. ek element hota hai ki aap gyan de do ki are aap ye kar lo wo kar lo aise kar lo waise kar lo which i know a lot of people will not be able to do so i yeah. want to be very practical and i want to cater to those people who are struggling with their health journey i don't want to talk to people who are already going to the gym they are yeah. doing good in life right i yeah. want to talk to those people who are like are shuru hi nahi ho raha hai ya shuru ho raha hai aur khatam ho jata hai so un logo ke liye if i have to say it is one very simple funda even if you do like 5 minutes of on the spot walk अब ये तो नहीं बोल सकते कि बाहर बारिश आ रही है तो बाहर नहीं जा अरे घर में पांच मिनट खड़े खड़े चल लो अपनी जगह पे डू समथिंग दैट्स वन यू नो इट्स इम्पॉसिबल दैट यू से आई डोंट हैव फोर मिनट्स आल्सो ऑन एट गिवन डे डू फोर मिनट्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन मिनट्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी एनी टाइम ऑफ द डे डू इट दैट्स वन पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू इज ऑल अबाउट स्लीपिंग यू नो 
people underrate what sleep can do <laughs> for them Mm-hmm. so i would say they have to give importance to sleep you know even if you're not sleeping on time waking on time uh, on like yeah. alternate days but if you start feeling important about sleep you know if you start valuing your sleep if you look at sleep with honor and respect that you know this is something which is giving me something not taking my time away if you look at that aspect uh, that mindset towards sleep it will start happening automatically i would feel and of course you know if you leave your mobile phones early you will have better sleep and you will have a better day because the next day is already decided on the previous night ki aap agla din kya karne wale ho 100% ho, yeah pehle din raat ko hi 100% ki percent decide ho jata hai agle din aap push karoge khud ko acha karne ke liye wo alag baat hai but ek din pehle wo decide ho chuka hota hai ki aapka agla din kaisa jane wala hai if you are sleeping properly if you are not sleeping properly majority of time it happens how it has to happen and only few times you know you can push yourself on all those do other things that's point number 2 uh point number 3 would be definitely learn proper breathing and meditation you cannot have a deeper meaning to life if you do not know breathing and meditation and i'm not saying this because you know aisa nahi hai ki log iske bina jee nahi sakte hai you know registan mein bhi log jeete hi hai pani kam hota hai fir bhi wo wahi rehta hai life can happen without breathing and meditation but if you want a deeper meaning to your life if you want to understand more about life if you want to know more about yourself and how you can deal yourself better and you know have immediate or faster progress in life breathing and meditation is something that can really help i think that's enough uh, as a beginner to start with nothing more you don't focus on diet too much to begin with Uh, yeah. a lot of people start their journey with focusing on the diet and then they do mm-hmm. exercise i think the reverse is much easier starting with exercise and then uh, of course you have to monitor your diet there's no question that without diet you cannot have a healthy life but don't start with it because changing the mm-hmm. diet is much difficult than changing your exercise habit so that's my interesting so i i usually tell people that pehle 6 din exercise karte hain aur 7ve din khane ke bare mein baat karenge otherwise people usually fall in this trap of all or nothing you know one day they will do good diet good exercise good drinking water and all that and the next day ek cheez nahi hua to kuch karne ka mann nahi kar raha so this all or nothing trap is very common with most of the individuals so i see that exercise karna 5 minute 10 minute bahut aasan hai diet ke liye aapko planning chahiye aapko sochna padega ki aapko kya khana hai and a lot of things right to yeah. usse better hai ki diet ko chhod do kuch samay ke liye pehle regular ho jao exercise mein and then slowly focus on the diet element it you know it's it's wonderful how we began our conversation talking about habits and we have wrapped it up also by end of the day talking about the most important thing at the end of the day which is continuity discipline and and a sense of commitment to your practice char din karo panchve din mann nahi kar raha just it it does away with it right you you have the sense of duality almost with it like it's an external thing that you're trying to engage with while when you absorb it and make it a habit it's a part of you it's a part of your system it's a part of your life so i so think that's a that's a great way to wrap up the conversation uh, build your habits uh, and there are people like saurabh who are out there to help you do the same uh, saurabh before we wrap up uh a quick shout out to you and your team let us know how can people find you how where can they follow you where can they uh join your you know your yoga class and your yoga sessions that's interesting because we don't have a good website yet even though we have reached maybe 3 lakh people till now and it's all on whatsapp so if they want to find us they they can reach out to us on a whatsapp number which is uh, i would slowly say it so that people can you know maybe remember it is yeah. 86003-39726. this is one whatsapp number where they can get the links to join our sessions yeah because and we are still in a process the... to build our website it's yeah. very funny how how we still do not have a website being an online uh, class but that's it's because very... your your focus is in the area of building the habit of showing up every day that's where your focus is we, right. you know the, the most important thing is the class is the session uh, is the is the you know the opportunity to connect with people to help them uh, so obviously the medium might be here or there 
uh, as you scale in life, obviously you'll you know uh, have the people. We are working on it. Play. It's not that we yeah. don't want to work on it. We exactly have exactly. a very good team now. I'm I, I'm really thankful, and I would say this. I don't know if I have to say one more thing because uh, I, I wanted to say this in the podcast, but we didn't have any question where I could mention this. So uh, I would never say that I have done something exceptional to get here. You know, today we have seven thousand students doing yoga with me. It's yeah. unimaginable, unreal. It's purely magical. Like you cannot imagine seven thousand people doing yoga with one person in an online medium. Does doesn't sound practical to me. If if you would have said this to me, uh, you know, one year or two years back, I would have said, "What are you talking about?" Like, my dream was a thousand people. Like, I I used to dream that I should have one thousand people doing yoga with me. Like, it would be so good. Today it is seven thousand. It's unreal. And I have to say this very very clearly that I never thought that I would be able to do it. The only thing which I've believed in is that you put in your hard work, and there is some superpower which will help you. And I want to tell people this that you know there is a mindset shift which is required, a strong faith or belief that good will happen to you, and it will happen. You know, I I really want to say this out loud. कि अगर आपको लगता है कि आपके साथ अच्छा होगा तो होगा ही. And I'm a strong believer of this point. So, आपने टीम की बात बोली तो I want to say this that the team has come up in such a way that it's unreal. Like we have IITians, we have people from IIM, we have people who have like seven years of experience in the tech industry. I could never imagine having such a strong team. We are thirty people team today, managing a yoga class. It looks so funny to me that a yoga class चलाने के लिए तीस लोगों का टीम है आपके पास. But the point is, everything has happened because I always thought good will happen. Mm. And every one of our team member is such a wonderful person. I I really feel that कि मुझे कोई अगर ऐसा job offer करता तो मैं खुद नहीं करता. <laughs> but people are there to support and they are joining hands and they understand the motive of the session and they relate to that it's creating such a massive impact it's very difficult i think to find such a team today and and we have not looked for that ki humne extensively dhoonda hai logo ko aur select kiya hai aise hi log aaye aapko man kar raha hai chalo saath mein karte hai aise and that's how it it's growing like that that's amazing man that's amazing i think when the intention is right the right people come together you know i like, really uh, want to say yeah, this that a lot yeah. of people tell me ki nahi hoga nahi hoga nahi hoga are aap ek bar vishwas karke dekho uske amazing. baad hi hoga wo nahi uske pehle ho hi nahi sakta hai you have to believe that it will happen and it's not a fake belief ki nahi nahi are bol lete hai jhoot bol lete hai ha ha hoga 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 waisa nahi hai you generally have to feel you have to have cultivate that faith i think and then it works it works really wonders